Use the following approximations to find the approximate value of the logarithmic expression. So we have log base A of 5 is 0.699, log base A of 2 is approximately 0 0.301. So the idea is that you don't know what the base is, so you can't just put this stuff in the calculator and, uh, and get this answer because you don't know what A is. So they do that on purpose, so you have to know all the log rules. So here's the expression. And we got to just pull this apart and get it all in terms of log base A of 5 and log base A of 2. And then we can plug the numbers in. That's our goal. So the first thing we got to get rid of this radical and write it as a one third power on the 50. So we're now we're here. Now we have to break this up as a it's a log of a division with this, which is a subtraction of the logs. So we have this subtraction here. Now we're going to use the power rule to bring the one third in the front. This is left over. Write eight at the same time as two to the third. Now we're going to break up 50 as a product of 25 and two because we see five squared inside 50 and log base A of five is one of the given values. So that's a good idea. Power rule, bring the three in the front. So now you have the log base A of two, which you know what that's going to be from the given. Then you have this one third on just this part here. So this is log of 25 plus log base A of two and a one third of that. So that part right there is this part here. Just with the log expanded out and then subtract the, the quantity you already have. Come down here, log base A of 25, 25 is five squared. That's the only move that was made on that step. Power rule, bring the two in the front. That's the only move that was made. Go over to here, write everything you have, one third, two times log base A of five, which they gave us was 0.699. And log base A of two, they gave us to be 0.301. Then we have this minus three times log base A of two, they gave us to be 0.301. Now you're gonna put it all in the calculator in one shot and press enter. That way you don't get a lot of round off error accumulating. So the way you put in the calculator is parentheses. Don't forget that, one third times parentheses. You need to just be on this part. Two times. I think it's a little bit simpler in, instead of putting parentheses because then you're going to have a lot of parentheses around. You might get lost. So we can just do a multiplication sign and then you have the 0.301. You don't need the parentheses but you need it here and here. And then minus three times 0.301. That's this. The order of operations will get it right. And then you just enter that whole thing, press enter, and you get this, and that's your approximate uh, answer.